Welcome along. This is our February Pilates. So we're just going to start standing and I uh, hope you enjoy it. So we'll start with your feet hip distance apart, toes facing forward. So spread the toes. Just start to lengthen through the muscles of your legs and we'll lift the shoulders back and down. So just a nice relaxed position, but still keeping the muscles quite tight. And then lift your chin a little bit, just imagining a string coming through the top of your head. So we want to feel like we're growing a little bit taller. So it's trying to align, shoulders over hips, hips over knees, knees over ankles. And we'll just start with a little breathing. So just a big inhale, just through your nose. And then we'll start to breathe out through your mouth. So do that again, just start to feel yourself just settling into the class, deep breath in, and then out. Keep that breath going, and on the out breath, start to feel that you can actually draw the abdominals in just a little bit more as you exhale. Okay, so we'll start to move with our breath, so deep breath in again. As you breathe out, just lower your chin towards your chest. Breathing in, start to lift your chin back up again. So do that again, so again, just on the out breath, release, and on the inhale, coming back up. Okay, we'll do that one more time, just nice and easy, and then rise back up again. And from there, we're gonna to start to reach over to the side. So we'll take your left hand, just reaching down the side of your body, inhale back into the center. As you do that, try not to lean too far over towards the front of the back. So you're leaning over to the side and you're keeping everything kind of centered as you do that. And if you want a little bit more, as you go over towards that left side, we'll reach the right arm just over, breathing into the center, and then just start to move the other way. So keep your feet really grounded so you're not getting light on one foot, but you're pressing down equally on both feet as we move side to side. Excellent. Okay, we'll do one more of these on either side. So just take your time and then make your way back into the center when you're ready. Inhale again. And as you exhale, we'll reach up with both arms. Now keep both arms lifted, we'll start to move again, just over towards that side. Just see how that feels. So again, if you want to leave one arm out, then just leave it out. If both arms feel okay, and we're still feeling that you're just moving to the side, then keep going with both arms. One more to either side. And last one. Back in towards the middle. And then from here, we'll come into our Pilates stance. So we're gonna bring the heels together, the toes turning out, which gives us an effect, a little turn out through the top of your legs. I'm going to move to the side, so make sure you've got enough space. Deep breath in. As you breathe out, step out and then start to sink through your legs. Rise back up and then step your feet together. And we'll just take that big reach over towards the side. So we'll do that again. Deep breath in. As you breathe out, step out and go down. Breathing in, come back up and step to the centre. And then just breathing out, reach over. So do that again a couple more times. We're going to add some more arms to this, so do you see how that feels? So when you go step to the side this time, we're gonna pull down with the arms. Good, come back up and then take it over towards that side. Do that again, so take it to the side, back into the middle and then over. Now if you wanted to, when you come back to the center, you could reach over with both arms, we're just keeping them up and that side stretch. Let's see how that feels. Excellent, and one more time. Okay, we'll try that to the other side, so release your arms. So no arms first, just that step out to the side, bend into it, come back up, step your feet together. So do that again, so step out, keep the chest nice and lifted. As you come in, take that big reach over to the side. So stepping out, bend your knees, rise up, and then reach over. So adding some more arms, take it down, rise up. It's just a single arm if that feels better. Pull it out, good, and then maybe both arms reaching over. But just see how it feels. Move through it in your own way. Do one more. We're gonna do one on either side. So when you're ready, we'll move over towards the right side. Come back in and reaching over. Over towards the left, back in, and that reach over. Do that again, over towards the right, in. Excellent, one more time. Okay, come back into the center, release your arms, 
Take your feet wide again with the toes turned out. And then we're just going to move through a squat here. So shoulders stay over hips, tailbone presses down as you go down, rise back up. Maybe sweep the arms and lift them up. Just see how that feels. Good, try and keep your chest up and your belly pulled in. Two more times. And then this time we'll just stay down here. Bring your arms in towards the center. We're going to move side to side so the hips and the legs stay pretty still. Deep breath in, as you breathe out, move towards one side. Breathe into the middle, move the other way. So we're literally taking our rib cage a little bit closer towards your hip bone. Do two more like that. And then this time we're gonna go a little bit quicker. So just side to side. Excellent, four more. Now back into the middle, slower. Side, center. Two more times. And then a little bit quicker, side to side. <coughs> well done, back into the middle, slow it down. Two more. And a little bit quicker now. Well done, slowly release. Rise up, turn your toes forward. Take a big reach up and then we'll fold forward. So with the legs straight, maybe you just take your hands onto your legs. Maybe you can release down a bit more. Maybe releasing the hands to the ground. Bend your knees a little bit if you need to. Make sure your toes are facing forward. A little stretch to the back of your thighs. Belly pulls in. Take one more inhale. Bend both knees and then just roll and rise all the way back up towards the top. Okay, from there, turn your toes back out again. Come back into that squat position. So shoulders over hips and then start to sink down and rise back up. Again, try and get that tailbone as if it's pointing down so it's not pushing out to the back. Do two more, and then stay down on this next one. Bring your hands back to the center. And again, this time keeping your shoulders over your hips, keeping your legs nice and still, we're gonna do a little figure of eight. So we're gonna move down and up with the arms, just crossing them over, keeping the legs as still as you can, well, for the time being, because we're going to move up and down with the legs. So if you'd like, just move up and sink down. But try not to move side to side. So still moving, just up and down through the legs, side to side with the arms. Four more times. And two more. And last one. Now done. Rise back up. Start to reach up with your arms. Fold forwards once more. So again, turn the toes forwards. And then start to fold in again. So hands to the legs, maybe release them down. Keep the belly pulled in. Stretch through the back of your thighs, bending the knees a lot if you need to here. Okay, when you're ready, we'll move back up. So bend your knees, start to roll and rise all the way up to the top. Set your feet in. So we're gonna take a little balance now. We're gonna stand on your right leg, bending into your right knee, belly pulled in. And then your left foot, just move it to the front. Take it out to the side, move it to the back, and then bring it back in. So do that again. Maybe you hover your foot a little bit off the ground, so just see how that feels. And then maybe you lift your leg up. But again, just to where you can, where it feels right to you. Keep it off the ground or lower it down when you come back into the center. But try and move slowly so we're not going too quick. Try and pause just a little bit at each point before you come in. Okay, we'll do two more. Excellent, and last one. As you come back in, we're gonna lift through your knee. So you might just keep your knee lifted here, or maybe extend your leg forward, but just see how that feels. Again, shoulders still over hips, belly pulled in. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release down. Okay, we'll change sides. So again, standing onto that left leg, bending into your knee a little bit, belly in. Take your right foot to the front, move it to the side, take it towards the back and bring it in. So a little hover, maybe to start, just see how that feels, lifting your leg a little bit off the ground. And then maybe start to lift your leg higher, but just to where it feels right, without feeling that you have to force it. You can always use a wall here, you can always use a chair, you just work with what feels right to you. And again, stopping at each point, so we're not rushing it, and touch down whenever you need to. 
Okay, we'll do two more. So left. And last one. Now come back in and then lifting through your knee, just holding the knee lifted and then maybe extend forward to your leg. And just holding there, just breathing deeply. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So we stand well done. Okay, give your legs a little shake. So I'll have a little seat just onto your um, mats now. And um, we'll stay towards the front, first of all, we are gonna to come to um, roll down in a moment or two, but we're gonna sit upright, so up onto your sit bones. I'm going to start to lift up through the upper body. So you might want to take your hands through the back of your legs. Lift your shoulders, draw your belly in. We're going to lift your feet off the ground. So deep breath in. As you breathe out, one leg lifts. Maybe just level with your knee. Breathe in, lower it. And as you breathe out, lift through your other leg. Breathing in to lower down. So breathing out, breathing in. So if that is suiting you and you want to stay with that, then do that. Otherwise, we'll lift the feet off the ground first without rolling too far back. Breathing in, as you breathe out, lift one leg. Breathing in, lower it. Breathing out, lift the other leg. Now stay with that. If you want to, you can start to extend your leg. So move it up higher. So you, in effect, straighten the leg. So breathing out. And then if you want to, you can lift both legs at the same time and lower them down. Again, you can be touching the ground. You can hover your feet off the ground. You want a little bit more, maybe you release the arms and come back in. So breathing out and work where you can. Okay, very nice. We'll do two more. And last one. Well done. Okay, you can release there. And then we'll make our way towards the bottom of your mat. So just make sure you've got some mat behind you. Come to the bottom. We're just going to do a little rounding exercise first in our spine. So we'll sit with the feet flat onto the ground. We're going to bring the hands to the front of your thighs, sorry, front of your knees or your shins here. And then try and lengthen a little bit so you've got that straight line from your shoulder to your hip. Deep breath in here. As you do that, we're going to round your back. And we're not straightening the arms, so we're not rolling back, we're just rounding it. Breathing in, just straighten the back again. So do that again, so breathing out, draw your belly in, round your back, the arms stay the same length. Breathing in, bring it back up. Do that again, a couple more times, so breathing out. And breathing in. Good, one more time, so drawing your belly in, rounding through your spine, come back up. And this time, take the hands towards the back of your legs. So same thing, but as well as rounding, we're also gonna move back, so the arms will get longer. So shoulders over hips, deep breath in. As you breathe out, round your back and at the same time, roll back. Breathing in, rise back up again. So do that again, so breathing out, rounding in your back, rolling back. If you want a little bit more, release the hands, so stretch them out in front. Deep breath in, as you breathe out, roll back and maybe you go a little bit further, but just see how that feels. So breathing out, breathing in to come back up. And if you want to, you could go all the way down onto your mat. So deep breath in, as you breathe out, we roll all the way down. Breathing in at the bottom, as you breathe out, rise back up. Breathing in at the top, as you breathe out, roll back down. Breathing in, as you breathe out, come back up. But again, work where you can, where it feels best. Still realigning, shoulders over hips as you come up. So we're not coming too far forward. Using that really strong out breath to accelerate that move up. Try and keep it controlled though. So we control it quite well going down. Try and control it on the way up. Good. Okay, we'll do two more. And on the last one, we're going to stay down. So you can just roll yourself all the way back down this time. Take your time. And release down onto your mat. So when you get there, just make sure that your feet are quite close in towards your hips. Feet facing forwards. Try to lengthen your spine a little bit. So from the crown of your head to your tailbone. And feel balance. So from shoulder to shoulder and hip to hip. So we're going to move a little bit through our tilt and arch to find our neutral spine. So as you breathe out, tilt the pelvis forward and up a little. And as you breathe in, move your hips back and arch your back. 
And then start to move through that. So just gently forwards and back, slowing it down, making the move smaller until we eventually rest in the centre. So we're not moving at that point. When you get there, lift the pelvic floor and draw your belly button to your spine. So again, here, try and imagine that pelvic floor to be a hammock sitting between the tailbone at the front and through the pubic bone at the back. So what we want to try and do is to lift up through all four corners. So at the front of the pubic bone, we're going to lift through the right and the left and the back towards the tailbone, lift through the right and the left. So it's kind of a gentle lifting and hugging up. Draw your belly button in. Interlink your fingers, hands by the back of your head. Make sure these knees are not dropping out. Deep breath in, so try and open your chest a little bit. Draw the elbows back. And then as you breathe out, start to lift your chest up. Breathing in, lowering back down. So breathing out to lift up, breathing in to lower. So we're keeping the chin a little bit away from your chest. We're keeping the elbows back. Maybe use that strong out breath as you're coming up. So, and breathing in. And we're still getting that feeling of lifting the pelvic floor and drawing the belly in. Now you can continue if you like on these singles, or we're going to do a little pulse. So as you lift the next time, hold at the top, and then just pulse and pulse. And as you do that, maybe take a small puppy breath so it becomes. And we don't have to really worry about the inhale, the exhale will take the inhale in and anyway. Okay, last eight. And last four. And well done, slowly release and relax all the way down. Now, still keeping that neutral spine, we're gonna move the legs. So lifting the pelvic floor, belly in. As you breathe out, one knee lifts, so just into that knee bend position, breathing into lower, and as you breathe out, lifting through that other knee. So the knee comes in line with your hip, and the foot stays in line with your knee, so we're not allowing the foot to drop down. Now, staying with that, we'll interlink the fingers around the back of your head again. If it feels okay, lift your chest up as you lift the knee. And again, as you do that, we're not trying to get closer to the knee, but we're trying to curate space here. So we're trying to get that kind of deep scoop in the abs as we lift up. Well done. Now, from there, if you'd like to, we'll start to rotate over towards the side. So as you lift your right knee, move your left shoulder over. Breathing in, come back. And as you breathe out, take it over towards the other side. So again, we're trying to keep the hips nice and still. We're trying to keep that L-shaped position with your leg. We're drawing the belly in and we're breathing out. Good, do two more. Then the next time you come to the right, we're gonna lift up and hold. I'm gonna take a little pulse. So as you hold here, just pulse and pulse. Breathing out as you take that shoulder over in the direction of that knee. And again, we're not trying to get anywhere. You're just trying to hold it. Good, last eight. And last four. Well done, slowly release all the way back down, change sides. So lift your left knee, lift your right shoulder, and that teeny tiny little pulse. Trying to really pull your belly button in. Trying to keep that space, and then start to breathe out through your mouth again. Good, and last eight. And last four. And well done. Slowly release and relax all the way down. Draw your knees in towards your chest. Maybe take a little movement side to side. So we are going to move side to side. So we're going to bring your legs to a tabletop position. Now again, if you wanted to, you could have your legs with your feet flat on the ground. But if you can, move up to that tabletop. And as you come here, again, try and align the knees over your hips and that straight line out. I'm going to move away from the legs this time. So we'll start with an in-breath. We're still lifting pelvic floor belly in. And as you breathe that, we'll lower one heel towards the ground. Breathing and lift it back up. And as you breathe out, change legs. So again, we'll be really precise about the lower and the lift. Really precise about the position of your legs. Now, if you stay with that, you can. Otherwise, move away. Still keeping the leg bent. You just travel further away from your hips. If you want more than that, fully extend the leg and bring it back in. So if you're fully extending, it's going down towards the ground. If you want to shorten that, then shorten the leg a little bit. Now, staying with that, or if you want to, we're going to move through the arms as well. 
So we'll stretch the arms above your shoulders, relax the shoulder blades down, but really stretch through your fingertips. And then opposite arm to legs. As you breathe out, as the leg moves away, the opposite arm travels back. The other arm and leg are unmoving. Breathe in, bring them back in. And as you breathe out, change legs. Breathing in and breathing out. So again, just work where you can. Try and keep everything else really still. And again, you, we use muscle to keep things still as well as using muscle to move them. And stretching from your fingers all the way down towards your feet. Whether the leg is bent or straight is irrelevant. So you can work with a bent leg if you like. Good. And use that strong breath. Make sure your back is still in neutral spine. Well done. Just two more. And last one. Excellent. Okay, release that and relax. So again, the next one you could do with your feet flat or lift them up. We're going to move the legs side to side. We're going to keep a little gap between your legs for this next one. So again, keep your feet in line with your knees. Even if you have to flex your feet to do that, so you don't want them flopping down. Deep breath in, spread your arms a little bit. As you breathe out, move your legs over towards one side. Breathe into the middle. Breathing out, move them towards the other side. So the shoulders stay down. We're not trying to go really far here, but we're trying to really control the movement and use the muscles in your abdomen to control it. Okay, do that twice more. And last one. Now this time as you come back into the center, we're gonna extend the legs up. So we're gonna do a little tick-tock. If you need to, bend your knees a little bit. Deep breath in. As you breathe out, the legs move over to the side. They don't have to go that far. Breathe in, as you breathe out, move the legs the other way. Breathing in and breathing out. Good, well done. Now stay with that. We're gonna do a little kind of combination here. So come back to the center where you bend your legs. Deep breath in. As you breathe out, move your legs to the right. Then extend your legs up and then talk them all the way over towards the left. Rebend your legs and with bent legs, move to the right again. So do that again. So extend your legs, lift them up, rebend the legs, and move them over to the right. Okay, let's do that a couple more times. So extend, tuck them all the way over, rebend your legs, move them to the right. Do that one more time. So extend, sweep them over, rebend the legs. Now, this time as you come to the right, we're going to lower the legs all the way down towards the right side. Interlink your fingers, take them around the back of your head. Try and keep your shoulders down here and you're lifting up towards your top hip and you're lifting both elbows equally. So deep breath in, as you breathe out, lift the chest, breathing in lower down. So we're not needing to twist here because we've already twisted, but we're lifting up towards your top hip. You're breathing out as you lift, breathing in as you lower. Now, if you want to, you could just simply stay with this lift and lower. If you want a little pulse, then we'll lift it up and hold it, and then a teeny tiny little pulse again. So breathing out. Again, keep it nice and strong. Excellent. And last eight. And last four. Now that slowly release everything back down. Take a deep breath in, and with control, lift your legs back in towards the center. So we'll do that to the other side. So deep breath in. As you breathe out, move your legs to the left. Extend your legs. Now tuck them all the way to the right and re-bend them. So do that again. So move them all the way to the left in that bent position. Extend them up and tuck them all the way over towards the right. Re-bend the legs. So do that a couple more times to so just see how that feels. Always re-bend the legs a little bit if you need to, if you feel it's too much. Yeah, well done. Okay, we'll do that one more time. And as you come over to the left, this time, lower your knees all the way down towards the side. So the shoulders are down, the legs are relaxing, hopefully a little bit. Interlink your fingers, hands in the back of your head, elbows back, deep breath in, and as you breathe out, lift towards your right hip. So we're not going over towards the leg or the knee, but directly up towards that top hip. So breathing out and breathing in. So again, we're trying to move that rib cage a little bit closer towards your hip bone. 
breathe you out and in. Now you can stay on singles once more or lift up and hold up and that team pulse. And keep pulling, keep pulsing. Okay, drawing the belly in. Last eight. And last four. Now done, slowly release down. And then again with control, draw your legs back in, pull your knees in towards your chest this time. So maybe take a little movement from side to side or forwards and back. Okay, from here, we'll come in and we'll do a little bit of work through our bridge. So we're going to have your feet flat onto the ground. Still making sure you're in the neutral spine. Lift the pelvic floor belly in. Deep breath in. As you breathe out, tilt your pelvis and just lift your hips just a little teeny bit off the ground. Breathing in. And as you breathe out, lower your hips and release that. So take a breath in again. As you breathe out, tilt your pelvis. Maybe start to lift through your hips and then maybe your lower back lifts. Breathe in, and as you breathe out, lower all the way down, release the tilt. Now a little bit more, so breathing in, as you breathe out, tilt your pelvis, start to peel and lift up. So maybe this time to the mid-back or your upper back, maybe you can move on to your shoulders. Take a breath in, and as you breathe out, slowly lower yourself down a little bit of time, still keeping that little tilt, and then release it at the bottom. Breathing in, as you breathe out, tilt and peel. So we're trying to lift up one vertebrae at a time here. So essentially, if you could imagine that you, there was a string of pearls, okay? So when you lift up, you tilt the pelvis, you lift the first pearl, and then you start to lift each consecutive pearl up on the ground as you lift your hips up. Deep breath in. As you breathe out, you're going to press down. So one pearl at a time lowers down towards the mat. All the way back down, release. If you'd like to, you could just stay on this. So just lifting up and lowering down. If you want a little bit more, we'll come up to the top. We're going to work a little bit through your inner thighs. So with the hips high, so imagine there's strings in your ceiling and they're attached to your hips and they're keeping the hips lifted. We're going to move the inner thighs towards one another a little bit. So deep breath in. As you breathe out, squeeze the inner thighs and release them. So we're not trying to touch the knees here. And we don't take the legs wide as we come out. We're just coming back into that hip distance apart position. So we're squeezing and releasing. Squeezing and releasing. You feel it in your glutes a little bit. You feel it in your inner thighs a little bit. Do two more. And then from here, if you want to, we'll do a little pulse again. So tiny your movement to so just pulse and pulse and pulse and pulse. Again, maybe using that strong out breath. Okay, well done. Last eight. And last four. Now well done. Slowly release. So deep breath in. As you breathe out, slowly lower yourself with control all the way back down. And then we'll draw the knees just in towards your chest. Take a little movement side to side. So we're going to continue to work through a rolling like a ball. And we're going to do a little prep for it again. So hands on the knees of the shins. Deep breath in, as you breathe out, start to draw your knees in and start to lift your tailbone a little bit off the ground. Breathing and lower the tailbone down. As you breathe out, start to lift your upper body up so your nose comes up towards your knees. Breathing in, start to lower back down again. So breathing out, start to pull in, lift your knees. Breathing in, lower back down. Breathing out, start to lift the upper body, nose to knees. Breathing in, lower down. We'll try that once more. So again, when we start to do the rolling, it's just this movement, but with a little bit of momentum. And if you don't like rolling, you can just continue with these. But if you do, as you breathe out again, just pull your knees in, move further back, and then roll up. Do that again, so rolling back and up. So just take your time, see how it feels. Okay, we'll do a couple more. And last one. And done. Okay, we'll come up to sit down. We're going to come on to our side now. We're going to do a little bit to our clam. So we're going to come onto your forearm, trying to line your shoulder over your elbow here. Try and make sure that your feet and your knees are aligned. And then you're going to move your feet back a little bit so they're not in front, but they're towards the back. It's kind of in line with your hips, if you like. And then from here, start to move down and up. 
through your shoulder, just checking in with how your shoulder is. And remember that we want to be at the lifted, the upright position. Draw in through the side body, lift the pelvic floor still and pull your belly in. Deep breath in, and as you breathe out, we're going to open up through that top knee, keeping your feet aligned, breathing and squeeze the legs back together. Now that might be enough. If you want a little bit more, as you breathe out, you lift up to your hips and breathing and lower down. Just see how that feels. So breathing out and breathing in. Good. So lifting up and lowering down. Now that. And again, you can always keep your hip down, especially if it doesn't feel nice in your shoulder, then you won't be doing this. But it's not just you're pushing up and out of your arm, you're lifting through your hips and working through the side body as you do that. Do two more. And on the last one, we're going to lift and hold. So you'll either be up here or you'll be down with the hip. And then just press and press and press. So a little gentle movement through that top knee as it pushes back. Good. Keeping that space in your neck, keeping the space in your shoulder. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Slowly release all the way down. Now, from there, we're going to do a little side plank. So if you want to, you could just bend your knees back so that now your hips and your knees are all in line. If you'd like a little bit more than that, and you could just stay here, just reach up with your top hand, just lifting through the side body. If you want a little bit more, stretch both legs away. And then bend back in with your bottom leg so your top leg is on the ground and then you can maybe lift your hips up off the ground but just see how that feels and then if you want a little bit more than that then step out with both legs lift both hips reaching up just for eight seven six five four three two and one well done slowly release that bend your knees sit up and we'll come to the other side so as you come down we'll come back onto that forearm again so lining that shoulder over the elbow and it is important it is in line so do take time to do that again stacking your feet and your knees move your feet back a little bit start to move down and up through the shoulder okay just see how it feels and then stay in that lifted position so you're really using the muscles of your shoulder and then from here again you lift through the belly lift through the side body Start to open up through your top leg and then squeeze the legs back together. And we try and use a little bit of really re recruiting the muscles here. So we're, we're adding some of our own resistance. So we're not just opening the leg and letting it flop down, but we're controlling it and squeezing it. And if you want a bit more, lift your hips up and release down. So lift and lower. And again, we're not just pushing on the arm, but we're pushing and lifting with the hips. And we're still opening up that leg. Good. Excellent. Two more times. And last one. So again, either you're up here or maybe your hips are down. Just keep pressing back gently with that knee. So we press back and back. The feet stay stacked. Good. And we're working a little bit on that outer hip. And last eight. And last four. So if you've got your hip lifted, then slowly release it down release the legs and then come into that side plank so again draw your knees back a little bit so your hips and your knees are in a straightish line maybe you just stay here and lift up maybe you lift your hips and stay here or extend the legs bend your bottom leg back in and lift or maybe both legs extend out and again just lifting and holding good last eight seven six five four three and what well done slowly release down and not okay from there we'll come up to all fours we're just going to do a little bit of work here so as you come into an all fours position we're going to do a little bit of work in your upper body so we're going to work through your tricep push-up so knees underneath your hips would be a good starting point try and make sure you're in a neutral spine so maybe tilt an arch a little bit through your low back and come into it and then lift the pelvic floor draw the belly in so with your arms, just make sure the soft part is kind of facing forward and the bony part is facing back towards your thigh. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, move forwards a little bit and then just bend your elbows a little bit. Still with the belly and pelvic floor lifting. So breathing out, breathing in to push back up. If you want a little bit more, walk your knees back a little bit. Still with the body forward, bend your elbows and press back up. So this time, more of the weight of your body 
is on the upper arms and your chest can kind of go down towards the ground, moving through your arms. But if it's too much, move the knees back in. I will not do too many, two more. And last one. So this time you could lower yourself all the way down towards the ground. So once you get there, we'll widen the legs. We're going to have the legs as wide as your mat. So we're taking the feet all the way out to the corners. We're going to come and do a little star position today. So you can start with the legs. So we'll cross the arms and drop your head down. So in this position, think about that. Pubic bone just pressing gently down. Belly button lifting up. Still lifting pelvic floor. And belly button in towards your spine. Deep breath in. As you breathe out, we'll lift one leg up. Breathing in to lower it and breathing out, lift through the other leg. So not needing to lift that high. Try not to feel really heavy in the center of your body. So if that pubic bone is starting to really press down, then you're lifting your leg a little bit too high. You need to try and keep that lightness in, the, in this kind of middle part of your body. So breathing out, breathing in. Now stay with that. If you want a bit more, stretch your arms out also to the corners of your mat. Maybe drop your head down, opposite arm to leg. So as you breathe out, lifting the arm, lifting the leg, releasing down. And again, just rest your head down if that feels better. Breathing out, breathing out. If you want a little more, maybe lift the chest up as you lift the arm and leg. So as you breathe out, as you breathe in lower. So breathing out, and breathing in. So just see how that feels. If it becomes too much, do the legs only. And then from there, if you do want a little bit more, lift your arms and your legs at the same time. So as you breathe out, breathing into lower down. So breathing out, breathing in. And from here, if you want a little bit more, then kind of hover off the ground. So breathing out, lifting up. And as you breathe then we just come down, we don't touch the ground. Breathing out, lift back up again. Breathing out. So we're just lifting and lowering, but not necessarily touching all the way down. Okay, we're going to do a couple more of these. And then if you'd like to, we're going to lift up and hold for the last little bit. So we'll just lift up, hold up. Good. And we'll just hold here. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Fell down, release down. Maybe drop your head down towards your crossover arms. Now I'm going to go up, so I'm going to show you our, um, the little movement that we want to do for the next one. So we're going to start with our feet in our Pilates stance. You're still lying on your front, but we're going to bring the heels together and the toes apart. So we get that kind of turned out feeling in the legs that we did before. So try and see how that feels, just with the feet, heels together, toes apart. Maybe flex your feet a little bit. Now from there, if you can, just lift your legs just up off the ground so the heels are touching and the legs are straight. And then from there, separate your legs just a little bit. And then breathing and squeeze your legs back together and breathing out, take them apart. So breathing and squeeze and take them apart. Just see how that feels. We're going to do the same thing as this, but we're going to speed it up a little bit. So it's pulse and pulse and pulse and pulse. Pulling in, squeezing the inner thighs. Okay, well done. Keep the legs straight. Last eight. And last four. Well done. Slowly release all the way down. You can relax for a moment. Now we're going to do that again, but we're going to do it like the hundred. So we're going to do it for 100 pounds. We're going to breathe in for five and out for five on them. Again, if it's too much, a little rest and just come back in. So bring your heels together, toes apart, squeeze the kind of heels together and then lift your legs up. Separate them a little bit and then when you're ready, squeezing them in. Breathing in for one, two, three, four, five and out, two, three, four, five. And in two, three, four, five and out, two, three, four, five. Squeeze the inner thighs, two, three, four, five and out, two, three, four, five. Flex your feet, two, three, four, five and out, two, three, four, five. Straight legs in, two, three, four, five and out, two, three, four, five. Halfway in, two, three, four, five and out, two, three, four, five. And in, two, three, four, five and out, two, three, 
four, five, and then two, three, four, five, and then two, three, four, five, and then two, three, four, five, and then two, three, four, five. Last it in two, three, four, five, and then two, three, four, five. Well done, release, relax. Maybe bring your legs in so they're a more reasonable distance apart, let your foot just walk down, and then bend your knees and just sway them. Just very gently, side to side. Well done. Okay, from there, we'll move your hands underneath your shoulders. Start to press yourself up so you're coming to an all fours position. Spread your hands under the shoulders, knees underneath your hips. And we'll take a few cat cow movements here. So on the inhale, drop the belly, start to pull forwards through your chest a little bit. And then as you breathe out, just round through your back, draw your belly in. Do that again, so inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest. And as you breathe out. Okay, we'll do that a couple more times, just see how that feels. And last one. Oh, okay, from there, walk your hands back, so towards your legs, and then we'll take a little seat towards the front. So we're gonna do a little spine stretch forward. So if you stay facing towards the front, I'll just, Turn away from you for a little bit. So you can see that position that we want is that straight spine, so shoulders over your hips. We're going to try and reach forward. So we'll bring the hands in front. Again, shoulders in line with your wrists. Now remember on this, when we're coming forward, we want to kind of imagine that there's a big piece of foam here and we're lifting up and over. So we stretch forwards rather than rounding. So knees bent or legs straight. Deep breath in. As you breathe out, lift and then reach forwards. Breathing in, come back up again. So do that again, so breathing out. Breathing in to come back up. So just really stretching through your spine as much as you can. So lengthen forwards, rise back up again. Okay, we'll do that twice more. And last one. Well done. Okay, come back up. And this time we're going to do a little spine twist. So still sitting with your feet either together or a little bit apart. And your knees bent or your legs straight. Take your hands onto your shoulders. Lift your elbows up. So deep breath in here. As you breathe out, come around towards the right. Keep your back nice and long. Breathing into the middle. And as you breathe out, move round towards the left. So breathing into the center. Try not to be light on your sit bones here. So the sit bones are equal and balanced as you move to either side. Do one more on either side. And the other way. Well done. Come back into the center, release your arms. So this time we're going to take that into all together, if you like, and we're going to do a little saw. So we're going to widen your feet. Maybe you bend your knees, sit onto your sit bones. Maybe you keep your hands short. So you could keep the arms short or take the arms out. Deep breath in. As you breathe in, we're going to move round so towards that left foot. As you breathe out, we're coming up and over again. So moving to the outside of that foot if you can. Breathing in. And as you breathe out, come round towards the middle. So breathing in. As you breathe out, reach. Okay, breathing in. As you breathe out, back into the same time. Again, if you want the hands here, do that. So breathing in as you breathe out. Breathing in as you breathe out. Okay. Breathing in as you breathe out, lengthen. Breathing in and out. Excellent. Do that a couple more times. And you can keep the arms long or you can shorten them. Okay, one more to either side. Relax the arms. Give your shoulders a little room. Okay, from there, we'll bring the legs in. So you can cross them over if you'd like, or if you'd like to sit with your feet wide and your knees up, then do that as well. Okay, we'll move a little bit side to side, first of all. So maybe just stretch your arms out to the side. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, take your right hand down, just lifting up and over through your left fingertips. Breathing in, and as you breathe out, move the other way. So do that again, so breathing in, and out. Very well done. Okay, we'll do one more of these to either side, so take your time. And last one. 
back to the middle. This time a few rotations. So we're going to move around towards the right side. So left hand on that knee, right fingertips behind you. Just lengthen your spine a little bit as you turn yourself around. As you inhale, come back to the middle. And then as you breathe out, start to move round towards the left. Breathing into the centre, breathing out, take it round towards the right. Breathing into the centre, breathing out towards the left. We'll do that once more, so breathing in and out. Last one. Done. Back into the middle. This time, reach up with your right hand. We'll just take a little tricep stretch. So, dropping that hand behind the back of your head as your left hand just gently press the elbow down. Release that. Change side. So, reach up with your left hand. Again, drop the hand using that right hand. Just press down. And slowly release back in towards the centre. Take your hands behind you. Stretch your chest a little bit. So maybe looking up, pulling the shoulder blades together at the back. Breathe in and then fold forwards towards your legs a little bit. We'll do that once more. So coming back up, start to move the arms back, start to open your chest up, release to the centre and then fold forwards. You've drawn there, walk your hands back up. When you get there, try and relax your arms a little bit. Deep breath in and as you breathe out, lower your chin towards your chest. Breathing and lift up. As you breathe out, just drop your ear just over towards one side. Bring that into the middle and just change sides. Back into the center. And then this time, just a little roll through your shoulders and towards the front. Well done. Good job. So I hope you enjoyed that and um, I'll see you next time.